welcome. This is my son's closet. Okay. And it's filled with his stuff and my stuff. Your stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is he wearing your stuff? <laughs> no. What's in this box here? That box is uh, mementos and photo albums. Why is it in here? Well, well, if there was a fire that only took my bedroom. <laughs> I don't even know who these two people are. It says grandfather and grandmother, but they're not mine. Now what this is, is it is a copy of a picture of Led Zeppelin with me as a member of the band. Um, that's a deer head. I, I know that that's Susan, and that's David, and that's me, but the other two, I, I don't know. I have four record players. Is that so odd? I don't know. It, it, you know. All right, here's one for I, you. Uh, Is that better than your son? Oh, you're good. And look, it's my news radio spec. That's so funny. <laughs> this, I have less of a problem with getting rid of, and good for me. Very good. You get a star. Yes, so I see this empty space, and I think, well, I need to put some of my things away, and there's that empty space that's beckoning, you know, like a, like a Chick-fil-A. This is what we called a composite photo, that it blew up and it hung in the walls. Mm -hmm. I'll show you where I am. I was known for my bad perms. <laughs> but yet you want to preserve that memory. Like most of the stuff I get, it, I can throw away. But does your, but is your life enhanced by knowing that that now exists? Yes. It has such sentimental value. Now, how long ago did you wear Miss Miss B? Ah, uh, how many years ago was that? Before nine eleven. The ideal is, you know, to deal with what we have. You know, that's why smaller homes are very limited with storage space because they didn't have a lot of stuff. In yeah, today's society, and their lives were miserable. No, they weren't. Robin had great things to say and really, it hit home. I mean, it hit home, I got it. And I no longer think I need to hold on to stuff.